Okay. So welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so grateful to see you guys from all around the world. And as we were just chatting, we have people, it's 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. where you are or midnight. And um, it's actually here, eight o'clock in Denver, Colorado. It's nice to be in America too. And I just wanted to send my greatest gratitude for all of you for choosing to be part of this. Maybe you had this energy that invited you. Maybe you don't even know why you're here. You somehow landed on the page and you said, okay, I'll do it. Um, but by you guys actually choosing to be here, there's something very different that can be created. And even if you're sleeping and you're watching this in the future, or you end up downloading this at a later time, like what if your energy was actually already here? and you are actually contributing to the creation of whatever we create in this one hour. And um, I guess the first thing I could do is start with my name. My name is Lale Hancock, and I'm an Access Consciousness Certified Facilitator. I facilitate a bunch of the classes. Um, as a certified facilitator, we get to do foundation and other classes but there's also a whole other world to access with the specialty classes. And I'm a facilitator of most of them. Um, there's a couple more that I'll get in 2020. Um, but really, I'm here today because I got a nice kick in the ass last week and um, by the founder and the co-founder of Access Consciousness. And if this is your first time, you don't even know what Access Consciousness is. It's actually an amazing, um, body of work that has body work, verbal processing, and really about asking questions. And every single one of us knows so much more than what we think we know, or that we went to school for, or that in this lifetime we think we've experienced. And it's about me not being a teacher, but actually being here as a facilitator. I can be a space, I can invite you to energies, but it's actually what all of us together being here, well, we're all choosing that creates something much greater for the whole world. And that's one of the reasons I'm so excited to actually not just be here today, but be a facilitator of access consciousness. It's been one of the greatest gifts of my life, actually. And one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask questions and after the questions come up, you're gonna perceive energies, you're gonna feel sensations in your body. And with it, we're just gonna ask, whatever this energy is now, would you be willing to actually destroy and create it all? Let it go. And then say the clearing statement from Access Consciousness, it's right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. And if you go to theclearingstatement.com, Dr. Dane here, who is the um, co-creator, he will be the one to actually give you a whole like overview of what each of this means. But bottom line, anything that hasn't been working in your life, anything you haven't been able to change, anything you haven't been able to choose, anything you haven't been willing to actually create and have in your life, there's usually something, and it's not always yours, but there's always something we're holding on to that's actually not allowing the floodgates of possibilities to be there for us. So this is about getting rid of all of that and then allowing you to choose. And I'm gonna say that a lot tonight because I have a whole new perspective on what choosing is. And um, I wanna first thank the amazing translators who are translating this. And if you're on a, um, on a translated Zoom, please make sure you're also on the English because this is where you get to type me your question. And you could do it in Spanish, in Portuguese, in Russian, whatever that is. And we'll have the translators actually translate it for us, okay? Or for me. <laughs> um, we only have an hour together. So for that, I just ask, I'm probably not gonna open up the lines to verbally have you ask questions. I don't know, I may, I'm just gonna follow the energy with that. But I just 
finished, um, literally like in the last hour and a half, we just finished one of the most amazing um, classes I've ever been part of. It's called the Energetic Synthesis of Being and Dr. Dane here facilitates it. And where we were able to go the last three days, I literally think we changed the world like a million times over. And there's this new world, new universes of possibilities, new doors that have just opened up. And you don't have to have it all, but I would love to be the space that also invites different possibilities. So with that, I wonder truly what's possible with our call today, which I haven't even told you the title yet. Um, it's called Waiting, Creating, or Killing. And actually, this came about because I was at another class <laughs> called Contribution, where Gary Douglas and Dr. Dane here together facilitated it in Venice. And one of the things that they asked, it was actually funny. It was like, I was being acknowledged for something. And then Dr. Dane decided to wedgie me. And he said, yeah, she comes to the classes, but is she willing to change? And what was really interesting is I would say, personally, I'm like changing every second and not like microsecond. There's so much change going on in my world, but he wasn't talking about me. He was talking about me and the world. Like, are we actually willing to be the gift, the contribution that we're, we are? and be willing to create, be willing to change things the way we have the ability to do. Because the minute you're willing to actually choose something, even if you're choosing, hey, today I'm gonna choose some gum, that choice opens up other choices for other people in the world. It doesn't have to be the significant, oh, I'm gonna go buy this lipstick today. That, what future does that lipstick actually create by me choosing and buying it. So it's not even the big things that we think we have to choose, but it's our willingness to choose. And when we have this conversation, and of course he has this conversation started, and then he's like, okay, we're gonna finish class today, which drove me crazy, because I wanted to ask more questions, and pretty much he wouldn't let me. He wasn't gonna give me much. And that night, I went back to my hotel and I just kept listening to the last two days of class. And I just kept also listening to the conversation him and I had and realized, holy crappy doo doo, he did not say what I think he said. He invited me to universes of possibilities, he invited the whole world to really stop allowing themselves to wait for someone else to choose, someone else to say, okay, I'm now gonna do this. It really was about our willingness for each of us to look at our lives, to look at our businesses, to look at our relationships, to look at our finances, okay? And not from the perspective of judgment, because all of this is about truly not judging. Judging when you think something is good, something is bad, that's the limitations of what our society is. It's what our cultures are. It's what this reality is. But you are this amazing being that has this incredible body that is so freaking powerful, so potent, that has the ability to bring so much laughter and joy into the world. And it also has so much capacities and abilities to create change, to create possibilities, to create beyond what we've ever been told is allowed. And it's a trick question, waiting. Hey, what is that? Are you creating? What are you creating with it? Are you killing? What are you killing with it? And what's interesting is 
neither one of those is right or wrong. Now, of course, it kicked me in the ass to look at all the places I can be choosing so much more. I could be choosing greater. I could be creating greater. I, there's, I was just really looking at my own personal life and I'm like, wow, I create nonstop. And that's still not the capacities I have. Like there's so many moments in a given day that I'm actually waiting for someone else to do something so I can then do the next step. So I'm curious, look at just your day today or yesterday, depending on if you just woke up because some of you it's in the middle of the night. What percentage of your day were you waiting? All sorts of numbers popping. Feel free to put it in the chat if you like. But I'm just like, and it's not about anything making this solid. It's not about making it significant. It's about the willingness to allow you to become more present of what you're actually choosing in your life. What are you actually choosing in your business? What are you actually choosing in your relationships? And okay. Okay, how much of your day, you pick any day you like, are you waiting for the money to show up so then you can choose to create what you'd like to create? I see a lot of heads nodding. <laughs> 90%, I love you. Okay, cool. All right, this is just for us to have awareness Oh my gosh, okay. If I spend 90% of my day waiting for the money to show up, what else can I do with that energy? What else is possible with that energy, with your time, with you, just in general? Now, what the funny thing is, money isn't gonna come to you if you're waiting for money. And you all know that. And I'm still curious to the other people who didn't even put a number here. You know this. And yet, how much of our day are we waiting for the money to show up? So truth, are you waiting for you? Are you waiting for someone else? Are you waiting? Because that's what you learn. That's what we do here. Like whose points of views have you bought as real to even wait? And this is where I'm going to allow, I'm going to ask you guys, please use the tools that you know. We have light and heavy. Yep. It's an outer. Yep. So light is usually what resonates to be true for you. Heavy is what doesn't resonate to be true for you. So is that light or heavy that it's yours? Someone else? Something else? Which one's lighter? Yeah, waiting for a paycheck. Yeah, but what if you'd be willing to allow the money to come in forms other than a paycheck? What if you would allow you to receive money in so many directions, you wouldn't even know where the money came from? How much significance do we put on money? This is not a money call, but I'm gonna talk about money because it is part of the conversation. But how often are we making the money and the money coming the significant aspect? Well, if you make money be the creator of your life and living, boy, how much are you going to wait? If you become the creator of your life and living, then you allow the money to show up. If money is the creator of your life and living, ask for you 
How often is money going to show up in your life? Mm. I'm totally waiting for me to claim and own my potency. Well, definitely don't choose that because that might create way too much in your life. <laughs> waiting and pulling on weight too. Ah, that's an interesting one. Waiting and putting on weight too. Oh, that's interesting. I even got it as pulling. Isn't it funny? So, hmm. Hmm. Okay. So whose lies and what lies are you using to wait for the money to show up? Are you choosing? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> ah, so everything that is, we just trying to create all of whatever commitments you've made to that. Right, wrong, good and bad, fun, fuck, all night, shorts, boys and man. Good. Vera says, I've been receiving money with no work. What else is possible? Yeah, how does it get better than that? Okay, so everywhere you, any of you have defined your permission for receiving is that you have to work for the receiving. We destroy and create all of that. Right or wrong, good and bad, pump back all night, shorts, boys and beyonds. So truth, this is where I want you to play with light and heavy. Tap into your body. Does your body desire to work to have the money show up? <laughs> okay, I didn't tell you, but I love bodies. Bodies, we're gonna talk a lot about today because imagine what you create in your body while you're waiting, just like Adriana said, how much extra weight, and it doesn't have to be pounds or kilos, okay? But ask your body, actually I get, okay. So truth, how much weight are you adding to your body to weight? For the money to show up. Yeah, 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 yeah. So everything that is and everything you've chosen with that, would you guys destroy and create all of it? All of it. Like everything that doesn't belong to you, will you return it to the senders with consciousness attached and destroy and uncreate all of it? Right, wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. And some of you are yawning. That's a good thing. Don't worry. You're not bored. It's just you're releasing the energies. You're letting go of the unconsciousness. Your body's breathing and saying, yippee, yippee. You're letting it go. Thank you. <laughs> I love when my translators are like, yeah, they're following like all my silly moves too. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, 10 pounds worth, huh, Cheryl? Cool. All right, now this is where it's about the flip, okay? So all the amount of weight that you have, oh, okay. So all the weight that you've been carrying around that doesn't even belong to you and you're waiting, would you be willing to destroy and create all that? Oh, wow. Everything that is and everything you've chosen with that, we destroy and create all of it. Right, wrong, get a map, pump, pop, nine shorts, boys, and beyond. Now, what's interesting is our bodies have the ability to change their shape and weight like this if you allow it. So any points of views that you guys have locked into your body about what your body can be cannot be, what it can change, what it can't change, how it can change it, and how it can't change it, would you now destroy and create all of that? Right, wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Okay, and anywhere you've gone into wrongness and judgment of you or your body, will you now be willing to actually say, wow, thank you, body, 
And now just let it go with ease. And anything that doesn't allow that, we just join and create it. Wow, right around, getting bad, pump back all night, shorts, boys me out. See, one of the greatest gifts that we have is our ability to choose, our ability to change. And anytime that we have any points of views, what we have to do is halt what we have the natural ability to be and do with our bodies. So what if all the rules, regulations, and what you've learned is allowed and not allowed with your body, we destroy and create all of that. Would you be willing to do that? Okay, cool. Right, wrong, good and bad, pun, pock, all nine, shorts, boys, and beyonds. And I love how many men we have on this Zoom. How does it get better? I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Your energy is such a gift. Okay, cool. All right. So, mm, 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 mm. okay. So let's ask some questions. Does your waiting create? What do you get? Is that light? Is that heavy? There's no right answer, actually, because it's going to be different for each of us. Okay, yes. Because it creates something. You're creating something. And there's some aspects that when you ask the question, like when you say, okay, I choose this, there's some things that need to be altered in the universe for it to actualize in a physical form. Okay? So it's not that waiting is wrong. But when you go into that space of waiting that has that unconsciousness to it, or you're doing it to fit in, or you're doing it to be like everyone else, you're doing it to halt your capacities and abilities to expand, that's a different kind of waiting that I'm talking about. So I'm bringing it to your attention so that you can become more aware of where in your life are you actually choosing that the waiting is what's required and how much are you putting the halt of waiting in what actually desires to be created, what desires to be physically actualized. Okay. So that said, is there something in your life that actually desires to be physically actualized today? Is that light? Is that heavy? What do you guys get? If it's light, what possibilities are available to be physically actualized that you haven't considered yet. And now would you be willing to open up the doors, the doors of possibilities, and actually allow you to be, know, perceive, receive, and have the awareness of what that is? Cool. Oh, let's do an exercise. Okay, cool. Okay, so can we do an exercise together? Yeah? Okay. So was there anyone where wasn't light that there is something that actually desires to be physically actualized? Like, was it heavy for anyone? Or was it pretty much, it was heavy for you, Raphael? Yeah? Okay, cool. Anyone else? Oh, sorry, I can't see everybody at once because there's a lot of people that are not on video. Okay, well, play with it even if yours was heavy. Oh, you have a lot of people that say heavy. Heavy for you. Oh, okay, all right. I'm still gonna do my exercise. Sounds fun to me. <laughs> okay, I wonder what other awarenesses you guys will get for the people that it was heavy, okay? And it's not right, it's not wrong. It didn't have to be light, okay? There is no, none of that. Okay, so just for a moment, if you guys could just close your eyes. 
because we're going to invite our body to be part of this exercise. And just wiggle your toes and say hello to your toes. I mean, do you guys notice just the presence with your body when we just said, we're going to include our body? Did anything change? Okay. So with your foot firm on the ground, also like perceive the sole of your feet your ankles, your legs, your knees, your hips. And it's not about excluding any part of your body. So please, if you're a man, let's include the balls, the penis, the women, every part of your vagina. And then just right now, like really perceive your hips and how your hips actually have the flexibility to be with your upper body, your lower body, and your belly button. Can you say hello to your belly button? And as you're coming up, like everything, we've got your diaphragm, your intestines, your liver, your lungs, your heart, your bloodstreams, the bones, the tendons, your skin, like truly engage every part of your body. And as you're coming up, your elbows, your fingers, your nails, your neck, your ribs, your ears, your nose, your eyebrows, your lips, your hair. Like engage your hair. How much energy is actually in your hair? <laughs> and if you don't have hair, still, the energy of it is still there. Just engage your head. But it's not about your mind or thinking, it's just, including every part of your body as we do this exercise, okay? And now do you guys perceive anything different in your body? Do you have any sensations, any feelings, any tingling, any flow of energy that you're perceiving? And if you're not, it's okay, but just the engaging will get you to start perceiving your body different, okay? So, now that we are also in communion with our bodies and including our body in the earth, like what is possible for you and your body and your business that you did not think was possible, that if you allowed the possibilities would actualize a different reality. And anything that doesn't allow you to be, know, perceive, receive, and have the awareness, we destroy and create it. Right, wrong, good and bad, pun, pock, all nine, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Now, if your body and business could share anything with you about what they would like to add to your life and living today, what they would like to add to themselves today, what would that be? <laughs> what would that be? And it doesn't have to be words. It could be an energy that it's inviting you to. Ah, <sighs> okay. So if there was words, would you now be willing to actually allow your body and 
business to pull it into your life? Would you allow your business and body to play with the energies of having whatever this is that they desire and require? And with you and your energy and your body and the business, would you now be willing to actually allow these energies to go out into the whole universe and allow it to say hello to other people's bodies, to beings without bodies, to all the nature that's out there, all the trees, flowers, bushes, mountains, rivers, oceans, all the animals, all the clouds, don't leave out the clouds. And to every molecule and all the spaces between the molecules, would you be willing to engage this energy with everything? And then allow all those energies that are combined with everyone and everything with no point of view. Now to come and play with you and the business and your body. So would you now be willing to pull in all the energies that desire to contribute to you having, to the business having, to your body having what it is that you, the business, and the body desire. And whoever who can generate, create, actualize, you having it, the business having it, your body having it, will you now pull them in and allow you to receive it from every single part of the universe and allow the flows to come in from all direction and directions beyond what your head can even figure out. So business, give the name of your business. What is it? Mine is Global Wellness for All and Bella Pima. Put in your business name. What do you desire to pull in? Ask your body, body, what would you like to pull in? And there's no separation between them, but they might have different things they also would like to have. What would you like to have? All right. Now, anything that you've ever chosen, anything that you've ever made significant or more significant than you, whether it's a person, whether it's a thing, whether it's a machine, whether it's a machine of beingness or anything else, would you now be willing to actually destroy and create anything or anyone that you've ever allowed to choose for you? And now destroy and create all the oats, vows, Camilities, filties, swearings, promises, blood oaths, contracts, marriages, obligations, decisions, definitions, stratifications, or any reference points to anything or anyone. Right, wrong, good and bad, pump, buckle, nine, shorts, boys, and beyonds, and any barriers you have put in place to stop you for any reason, would you now be willing to actually say, you know what? I'm the only person that can create that and now I have the choice. I can choose to now melt away any of those barriers. And if you choose it, choose it. If you don't, you don't. It's all a choice. It's all okay. And now would you be willing for anything that's a barrier, any walls, energetic that you've put in place, just lower it, 
just lower it and give it back to the earth and lower some more and give it to the earth. The earth has no point of view. It's just energy for the earth. And anything that didn't allow you to receive the gifts and the energies that every single one of those molecules around the universe wanted to contribute to you having what it is that you, your body and business desire to have. We now allow you to actually receive it. Okay, now to receive, you have to be willing to be. So now what energy, space and consciousness can you your body and business be to be whatever it is that you're asking for with total ease. And anything that doesn't allow that, we destroy and create it. Right, wrong, good and bad, pump, pop, all nice, shorts, boys and gowns. And now would you allow you and your body and the business to have fun with this? energy just like allow you to receive it from every part of your body every part of your being and all the molecules and consciousness of the business would you now allow it all to be received now whatever you're willing to be and receive is now also available for the whole universe so whatever this energy is, would you now be willing to actually flow it out into the whole universe? And would you be willing to actually pull it all in to you and your body and business and then flow it out and push it out with space and pull, flow, and push. Pull, flow, What else would you like to add to this? Go ahead and add it. What else would you like to add to your life, your living, which includes the business, to your body? Is it a house? Is it a car? It doesn't even have to be any of these things. It could be the energy of what you'd like to have the ease, the joy, the laughter, whatever it is, add it in here. And what else you are willing to be, you can have and receive and allow others as well. And then whenever you're ready, just open your eyes. Mm. Okay, so what else is possible with you, your body, and business that you've never ever considered before? And also perceive how are you in your body now? Thank you. Glad you guys enjoyed it. Um, because there is, it's like when you are willing to receive with your body and with the business, what else is possible? Oh, okay. So we have about 20 minutes and I would love to take some questions, but I don't get, I'm going to ask you guys to come live. But if you have a question, if you want to put it in the chat, happy to address any of the questions but one of the things that I do want to talk about is that most I don't want to say most of us because if it doesn't apply to you I don't want to impel anything on that um, which is gracias um, but there's moments when we choose we're willing to have we're willing to be and do whatever is required and one of those things is our willingness to also let go our attachment to others anything we've decided we still have to hold on to and one of the things we talked a lot about these last three days in this esb class 
is that it's not always just you, but it is the other mechanisms that we've put in place that have been implanted, explanted, that are there to stop us. And so one of the things I do invite you to is there's new energies and new doors that have just been opened this weekend. And would you be willing, maybe for a day or two, that anything you used to say, I can't do, I'm not able to have this, I don't have the money, or whatever it is that was stopping you, what if it didn't apply anymore? Like give yourself 24 hours, 48 hours, where it doesn't apply anymore. What else would you choose? Because so many of us, it's so easy to go with what didn't work yesterday. But every freaking second, we're changing. The world is changing. The universe has so much more consciousness available that allows everything to change. So if you didn't wait and were willing to create, like we just did this exercise. I'm curious what will come out of it for you guys. And for me, because I was playing with it too. Um, if there are these possibilities and we don't allow the barriers and the roadblocks to even exist anymore, we don't have any more excuses to what we cannot have what we cannot create, what we cannot change. And Dr. Dane here for the last few weeks has really been talking about this one clearing, which is just amazing. What is possible for you that you don't think is possible? That if you allowed the possibilities would actualize a different reality. And anything that doesn't allow that, we destroy and create it. Right, wrong, good and bad, pump, pop, all night, shorts, boys and beyonds. Right, wrong, good and bad, pump, pop, all night, shorts, boys and beyonds. And Vera, I'm going to ask your question in just one second. But you can add anything. Like, what's one thing that has been a limitation in your life? Like here, Vera says, how can I release myself from what I feel or think is blocking me and my creations. Well, first thing, what possibilities are available for me and my creations that I don't think is possible, that if I allowed the possibilities would create a different reality? That's one question you can ask, okay? But when you say, release myself from what I feel or think is blocking me or my creations, who are you giving power to? The block, the blockage. What if no one has that power but you? <laughs> so if you're willing to take back your power, be the power, what else would be possible? Like most of us think, oh, there's a person, there's a situation, there's the money problem. Like there's all these things outside of us that actually get to control what we can do, what we can't do, what we can have. And so many people say, oh, you know, I grew up in a family without money or, you know, this happened to me or whatever. I'm not trying to make that small, but the more you continue that story, the more you create it. What you think you shall create that's how powerful you are. So if you say this is a problem, you have to create the problem. And your body is actually that way. Your body is your genie in a bottle without a bottle, okay? You say, I am sick. Your body says, okay, we'll create sickness, no problem. I have no point of view. I'm here to give you what you desire. So when you say, uh, I feel drained, guess what your body has to do? Create that you're drained and tired. But first ask, okay, hey, body, you 
have the tendency to show me things. You have the tendency to let me know the gifts and capacities that I have with other people, other bodies, the earth, money, everything. So how much of you feeling drained is actually yours? And if you didn't make it yours, truly what information is your body sharing with you? I mean, 99.9% .9 of all our thoughts, feelings, emotions, sensations, financial problems, health problems aren't ours, but we make it ours. We buy it as real and say it's mine and create it in our bodies. If you were not doing that and instead you were like, okay, I feel something in my body right now. I have a sensation. Hey body, what information are you giving me with this sensation? Then you give you permission to have more awareness of what your body's sharing with you. Okay. Uh, yeah, Vera, I'm sorry. I won't have time to actually like bring you on. I only have 10 minutes and I want to get to a bunch of questions, but just if you listen to that whole energy pool and flow we just did, I wonder what else that might create to you allowing the things you've made significant, the things you've made important, the things you've made a, have power outside of you to actually be the capacities that you actually are to outcreate any of that and to allow you to be the space of you that is this magnet. And that's what we are. We naturally do these energy flows. We push energy, we flow energy, and we pull energy. And if you're willing to actually start putting more energy flows into more of your cognitive awareness that you're doing it, I wonder what else will get created. Okay, so then uh, Vivara says, Lale, thank you so much. You're so welcome. Thank you. Tell please about your next right voice for you. <laughs> What are the prerequisites and will there be translation into Russian? <laughs> I adore you. Um, the next one is in Mexico City. It's November 1st to the 3rd. There are no prereqs. You can do it online. You can come to Mexico City, which is so beautiful and fun. And um, translation, uh, let's see. Let's see if you guys, if I have enough interest, we'll be happy to get you a translator. So thank you for the question. Uh, you feel super tired. Okay, cool. So Vera, okay. Truth is that you're tired, someone else or something else. Because when you say it's mine, yeah, now you say no. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But see, you guys, if there's anything you, I'd love for you to get out of this, Zoom, is what you think think and say you create in your body, in your life, in your business, in your money flows, in life, okay? So you have to become so much more present with your body and ask questions. And if you say, I feel my body is tired or whatever, whatever you say, I feel or I am, Literally, it's in the littlest of seconds you create it. So I am making, I'm being significant here because our bodies are magical that way. We are massive creators. Okay, cool. Um, Donnie says, I feel stuck and I know it's all in my head. What should I ask to get out of the place of stagnation? First things I'm going to say to you is, how much of your feeling stuck is yours? Like literally ask, okay, what percentage of this is mine, someone else, or something else? And this weekend, I was training two people for online um, to be stream hosts. And it was so interesting how many times 
one particular one would say, oh my God, my body this, oh my God, I'm thinking this. And I just, there's things that, you know, it was so real. It just felt so real in her body that she assumed was hers. And I had to ask one question, is it yours? And none of it was hers, none of it. And one thing we got to in this class is Dane was facilitating this woman. And for the last, I mean, her whole life, she's in her forties, her whole life, she used to think these things, these thoughts, these feelings, these things that she had were all hers. And even though she's been in access eight years and she knows the tools, she knows who does this belong to, it wasn't until yesterday that she realized all the secrets in her head did not belong to her. All those thoughts of having to analyze things didn't belong to her. Like, it's just this amazing thing. If 99.99999% of everything does not belong to you but some of it you might have made yours so just say anywhere i made this mine anywhere i bought this is real sold it is real i now destroy it and create it right wrong getting about pump buckle online shorts ways me out your choice to change it is what's gonna change it okay cool sorry i'm going fast because i only have a few minutes um oh you're so welcome so welcome Yes, how does it get better, game changer. Oh, yay, thank you, Raphael, for putting the right voice for you information there. And then the classes that are coming up. Um, so one of the things that I also wanted to share with you guys is you know more than you think you know. So what we used to do, I don't think we have time for anymore. Like there's so much consciousness on the planet, your level of awareness is gonna skyrocket. And these are the moments where you're actually gonna have to start choosing what works for you. Does it work for you to continue with problems? If it does, do it, okay? But if it doesn't, you're actually gonna have to step up and stop waiting for someone else to tell you now's the time to stop waiting. This whole waiting thing, I'm, I'm serious. If you guys start really having it in your awareness and start asking questions every single day, I really wonder what's gonna change. What else are you gonna be willing to choose? And this is now the time for our earth. Us waiting, us living in this reality, us continuously going into problems, the polarity of the good and the bad, that is all these programs, they're not real, they're, they're things that have been there to stop us from our awareness, guys. And if you keep going back into that, that's what you're adding into the earth. Instead of the gift of you, you laughing, you being joyful, your willingness to choose, you're willing to have fun is actually what's going to make the earth healthier. Your willingness to actually allow you to use your gifts is the difference of what the earth requires right now. And I would love for you to join me. I am so excited. I am going to be in different countries <laughs> coming up. I'm going to Mexico City after Costa Rica, after the seven day. I wonder what we're going to create there because right after contribution and this ESB, like, frick, man, there's so much more available on the planet. And um, we tend to have fun, guys. I mean, it tends to be fun. So if there's something that resonates with you, come. We have a bunch of classes. Right Voice for You is one of them in Mexico City. We're going to have a Conscious Parent, Conscious Kids intro class. We're bringing my Conscious Vagina class to Mexico City. Um, we're going to do a Creating Money, the Feel of Your Adventures. And everything I'm doing in most of the countries is available online. So if you don't want to come to the country or you can for whatever reason, don't worry. We're still going to be able to do it like we're doing now on a Zoom, except the body processes. So I've, I've told some people, everyone I meet, the first question they say to me is, 
hey, are you a three-day body facilitator? And I always say, no, that's one of the specialties I don't, but I facilitate right body for you. And now I've decided not to wait. That was one of my things, not to wait in the last week. And I've chosen, I'm going to become a three-day body facilitator. So it would be fun for you. I'm going to be doing a bunch of body processes all around the world. And I invite you to come with your yummy body and see what we can create and change on the planet together. So that's one thing will be Mexico City. And then I'm going to Brazil and I'm so excited of Mexico and Brazil. And the languages wanted to play together tonight. So how does it get even better than that? And in Brazil, we're going to Buzios, we're going to Rio and Petropolis and it'll be October 6th through the 17th. And there's a whole bunch of stuff, bars, bars trade. We got um, uh, conscious vagina intro. I'm going to do my first conscious vagina one day class. It's going to be available in uh, Rio as well as online. I am so excited. I'm really looking to what we can create together. Vagina is not about a vagina. Okay. Um, people kind of mislead what conscious vagina is. It, it's everything but it's the willingness to receive from every part of your body. And now with the Conscious Vagina classes, now they're open to men and women. We've all been men, we've all been women, and we all have body parts that we have all sorts of judgments and projections and stuff, and things that you don't even know are there stopping you. And the projections, and I just, so much awareness of what's possible with our bodies and our vaginas and penis if we're willing and the classes it brings up all sorts of stuff and it's it's been a really beautiful space of what we can all be for each other so if that would be something definitely come join us and then um we're also doing a money class and we're doing a foundation class and we're, we're just doing a bunch of fun classes. And then I'm going to Russia in January 15th through the 20th. I know our Russians are sleeping right now and they're going to be watching this later. But I'm super, super excited that I'm going to be coming to Moscow in January. And uh, we'll have a bunch of fun classes. Right now I'm blanking. I have no idea what I'm doing in Russia. I think I'm doing a foundation class actually. But yeah, I'm doing a foundation class and I'm doing two body process classes and a conscious vagina. And if you haven't heard, I do facilitate other classes too. <laughs> Joy business, right voice, right body. We do a whole bunch of stuff. But this one specialty of mine, conscious vagina, I can't explain it, but it's just one that brings a smile to everyone's face and just changes everything. And the level of receiving that changes when you're actually including every part of your body and letting go those points of view that aren't even yours and whatever occurred in this lifetime or any other it's just been beautiful to watch and um just the feedback's been really pretty cool so if conscious vagina can be in contribution just know it will be all around the world and it'll be online too and after this weekend i'm like even more jazzed to what we opened up and there's conversations I cannot have with you because we only have two minutes, but if we do have a few hours, there's so much I want to share with you guys between the contribution class and this class is ESB today to what we opened. I don't have words for, um, but it was really interesting to see how much our worlds are changing and how fast they're changing. And the level of consciousness that's on the planet now is allowing it. So anything you've done, we've done together in any lifetime, spaces, dimensions, realities, that's been there to protect consciousness and to stop us from showing our capacities and abilities and being it. Can we destroy and create all of it? and revoke, recant, renounce, denounce, destroy, and create all the oaths, fouls, communities, filthy, swearings, promises, blood oaths, contracts, marriages, obligations, stratifications, reference points, anything that we've put in place, any machines of beingness or anything else, can we destroy and create all of it? Right, wrong, good and bad, pump, all night, shorts, boys and meows, because it is. Four trillion years ago, we knew in four trillion years, we're all gonna come together and we don't have to hide consciousness anymore. 
And guys, the time is now. The earth requires us now, not tomorrow, not to wait, but now. What you're choosing today is creating today and the future. So what future will this create is a question that is a magical question. If you ask, if I choose this, what will my life in the world be like in five years? If I don't choose this, what will my life in the world be like in five years? That's been my magic questions in choosing anything and everything. And it's amazing how much consciousness and the universe have our back. Truly have our back. Ah. Oh. Thank you so much. Thank you, John. Very grateful. Um, yeah. So thank you guys for being here. This was a quickie, but I knew we had to have it. And, <laughs> and of course, consciousness put it on the last night of ESB because that's just how amazing the consciousness is. So thank you guys for being here. If you're watching now or later, and if there's anything I can contribute, please let me know. I mean, my whole target has been expansion of consciousness on the planet and i've been traveling for the last three months and i have i don't even know when i'm going to have a break probably the end of december but like like if there is something going on in your country and you'd like me to contribute please let me know it's not always about me coming to your country but i'm always happy to ask questions and with the questions that we ask sometimes that's all that's required but what if there is no barriers at all, including countries and languages? Truly, like what if none of that exists? So anywhere we were the creators of that, can we destroy and create it? <laughs> right, we'll get a map of fuck all night shirts, but yeah. All right, thank you to all the amazing translators and thank you to the amazing hosts and all the promoters and everybody else, I adore you guys. And thank you guys for choosing to come. It was one hour, but what futures did we actually generate, create, actualize, and change together that we haven't acknowledged? And can we now claim, own, and acknowledge it and allow it to actualize beyond what we could ever imagine? So anything that doesn't allow that, we destroy it and create it. Right, wrong, good and bad, pun, puck, all night, shorts, boys and beyonds. Okie dokie. You guys will get a replay. Um, English, you'll get it faster. Translators will translate a little bit more. And then we'll get the video and audio out to you guys. And then you're welcome to listen to it as much as you like. Oh, yeah. And then in here, there's a, some chats, too, for our um, Brazil. Um, classes that are coming up. All right. Thank you guys. I hope to see you somewhere soon, hopefully seven day or Mexico or Brazil or Russia or somewhere else around the world sometime soon. Okay.